It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep going under. <laughs> Broken glass everywhere. Like that's how Marty did. Yeah! With Thanksgiving plate or oh, with Gina left. Gina left. And he was all on the plate like. <laughs> I waited all day long. Just to hold you in my arms. And it tastes exactly how I thought it would be. Me loving you and you loving me. Oh, you got the, got the, got the, got the. Oh, God, I know y'all remember that on Nutty Professor. I know y'all remember that. What's up, world? It's your girl, the Keto Girl, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back again, I'm back again with another video. Ha <laughs> ha! How y'all doing? How y'all doing? <sighs> y'all see what I got on this plate? Do y'all see what I got in front of y'all? Listen, I'm finna bang this out. I'm finna bang this out, y'all. Look. Your girl got some cucumbers, some peppers, some good old greens, some chicken, and oh yeah, that's a ham hock on there. That's a ham hock, baby. So, I am getting ready to eat. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. You know, I haven't had greens in a minute, so Hopefully, I'll be able to get to the topic instead of eating all the food and not seeing anything. So, I'm going to taste this food. Let me pour my ranch dressing on here. Yes, I love the ranch dressing on the cucumbers. Yes, I do. Y'all, I'm so bogus. Please excuse me. I didn't even give praises to the Most High for blessing me with this meal in front of me. So with that being said, thank you, Father, for this food that I'm about to receive. May it nourish my body and replenish my soul. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Now I can eat. Greens, these greens. Y'all see that? Got a little ranch dressing on there, but that's all right. So, 
y'all, I put some bell pepper in there. Um, I put garlic and I put onion in there because I just love the color um, that that brings out. You know, I love the color with my greens. Jeez, I can't talk today. I don't know why. I put it in the snow, the slow cooker, and while I was out, I let it cook for eight hours. So these greens are mighty, mighty, mighty delicious. So I guess I'll talk about something instead of just <laughs> eating all the food and don't have nothing to talk about. So y'all, yeah, something that's really been bothering me, and I probably touched on this subject before, I'm not sure if I did or not, but it just happened to me again yesterday. So, I was at work yesterday, and it was so cold outside. I mean, it was super cold outside. And it was so cold that I wasn't thinking. I'm just getting out the car. I runs in the store, because I do, you know, shopping for customers. I don't know if I can say the name, so I'll just say that. I shop for custom customers and I deliver the groceries. So, I'm rushing to get in the store because it's so cold. Um, whew, Jesus. That is so good. That is so good. But I rush in the store. I'm sorry, I rush in the store. And I do my shopping. And I had to be in there for like maybe a good 40 minutes. Come out. Load the groceries up. Put the key in the ignition. And the car is dead. Mind you, it's like 20 something degrees outside. I'm talking about freezing cold. Bone chilling cold. And... My car won't start. So, now, I gotta think fast because I got these customers' groceries in my car, ready to be delivered, and my car done went out. I go in the store, and I tell them, can one of y'all please give me a jump? Can one of y'all please give me a jump? Because my car won't start and I left my lights on. So, the woman that I asked, she said, oh baby, I would've gave you a jump, but I left my car at home. I didn't drive my car today. I'm like, oh man. So she was like, let me ask somebody in the store, can they give you a jump? I'm 
like, okay, fine. So she calling on her radio, like, oh, the young lady work from such and such. She in the store with us all the time. Can y'all give her a jump because she got these people groceries in the car and she need to get moving or whatever. Do you know that out of 20 some people in the store, nobody didn't want to give me a jump. Nobody didn't want to give me a jump. Once again, I know it's cold outside. I know this. But you saying, oh, pretty much that's my problem. You don't want to give me a jump, um, whatever. So I ended up calling my friend, getting him out of bed. And I was telling him the story. He's like, oh, that's because don't nobody want to join their battery. Now, I already know too much about cars. I know enough. Well, let me stop that. I just know how to drive them. I don't know how to do nothing else. And I went to school and took up auto shop. But we didn't learn about nothing under the hood. We just put a car together. And that was that. And that was a long way back when. When that was one. But he was like, um, people don't want to give you jumps because it drains their battery too. But he came out anyway, got out of his bed, and gave the girl a jump. Y'all. I'm so grateful for that man. Because here it is, somebody calling him and getting him out of his bed. And I don't know if he had company. I don't know if he was dressed. I don't know what he had going on. He was like, okay, I'm on my way. Then when he got there, he gave me the jump, and he was like, make sure you leave your car running, make sure you leave your car running so you won't, um, you know, so I guess it gives a, a, enough uh, juice to the car, or it revs the battery up, or whatever it is, if you, if you cut it off, it won't, if you cut it off too soon, it won't come back on or whatever, something he was saying. Once again, I don't know nothing about cars. So, I delivered the groceries, did whatever it is I had to do. And I called him when I got home because he was worried that the car was going to stop again. Now, I guess the reason why I'm telling this story is because When did the world stop caring about women? Like, if my friend wasn't available, or he would have said, you know, I'm doing something, or I got company, or I'm in a bed sleep, I would have still been sitting at that store trying to figure out what I was going to do. It was about a handful of people 
turning around, looking at me, trying to turn my car on, heard it clicking, and they kept walking. Nobody never once said, ma'am, is you all right? Do you need any help? Nobody didn't say that. So, I'm just wondering, when did the world turn so cold where we don't look out for each other and make sure each other is safe? Or at least say, oh, you, you need me to call somebody or you need to live somewhere or whatever the case may be. I don't know what's going on. I like, that just really did something to me because I'm like, it's sad that we so divided. It's really sad that we can't look out for each other. Yeah. Make sure each other is safe. And be united with each other. And just care for each other. The world is so divided, it's like, you know, you could be laying out in the middle of the street or whatever. They won't come to your aid. But what they will do is record. They will record you before they even touch that dial pad to call 911 or to call for help or whatever the case may be. And it's just crazy. But you know what? That was my story. <sighs> and I'm getting kind of full. But y'all, this was so good. This was truly good. I haven't had greens. Wow, I had cabbage, but I haven't had any greens in a while. And as you can see, I was hungry because I ate more than usual. But it's cool, though, because everything was so delectable. Everything was so. Tasteful, seasoned just right. The greens was tender. The chicken is crunchy. Cucumber was so refreshing. Just the bomb. Dot com. So I'm gonna leave y'all with this. If you see a woman out there with a hood up, or she got a flat tire, she got a kids with her, or whatever the case may be, at least, at least go ask that woman, do she need help? And I know sometimes men be like, oh, it ain't always about women or whatever the case may be. But it does not hurt for you to ask somebody are they okay? Do you need help? Do you need assistance? It don't hurt. Stop thinking that everybody out to get you or everybody out to hurt you or you just on some selfish type stuff like, oh, well, I ain't finna get out of my car or they ain't no kin to me or I don't got nothing to do with them or whatever the case may be. They might rob me or whatever the case may be because people do be thinking that, you know, it's a scam or something like that sometimes. And I get it, but literally, if you see somebody in distress, have a heart. Check on that person because you never know. It might be you one day and you, you know what I'm saying? You may need somebody to help you. You may be in distress and you're going to want somebody to pull over and say, sir, ma'am, are you okay? Do you need help? Do you need me to call anybody? Or, you know, do, do, do you have a tow truck or something coming out? Or whatever the case may be, have a heart. You know, have a heart and check on that person and make sure they're okay. That way, you know, you will have a clear mind that 
at least you said something and at least you tried. So y'all, I love y'all. I'm about to sign out. I done ate myself into the itis. Cause yeah, I got the itis. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and hit that ding notification bell. Let them know what your girl doing over here every time she drop a video. And I'm out. Peace.